Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Life is Strange. When we left off last time, oh man, revelation guys, Jefferson, Jefferson all along, he, he shot Chloe, shot her right in through the head, so Chloe is dead until we can manage to, to rewind, but then he drugged Max, and it looks like he's going to keep her drugged, so we've got Max in the dark room now. I don't know what this means necessarily for Nathan Prescott, I mean obviously he's in on it, it's his freaking dark room, but... How much is he the leader or is Jefferson the leader in all of this? All right, we got to see what's going to happen to Max. We got to be able to rewind. And we've, well, this, the tornado is coming too. Well, we got to be able to rewind. We got to find a picture that has Chloe before they killed her because I don't think we'll be able to rewind that far. And we've got to save Chloe. All right. Uh, start up this chapter, please. Continue. Previously there on Life go. is Strange. Yeah, and on top of everything else, what did you we have find? this tornado coming. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's the dark room. We can't trust anybody. Except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Man, we should have like totally got teenagers. David Madsen's help. He'd be good to have on our side right now. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. The police, what are you really? Doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! <sighs> Nathan is truly psychotic. He I is. He has something to do with Rachel missing. But Rachel <sighs> and Nathan wasn't the first. were friends, weren't All they? The so are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? She got along with everybody, right? Victoria so I wonder. Has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Was it an accidental thing where she died, and and Nathan's been feeling terrible about it since? But then why did he send Chloe? He sent Chloe that text, yeah, about all the evidence was going to be gone. So it's. I know you're close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh God, Max, look. She's still there. <sighs> And then he killed Chloe. Chloe. Look how what the fuck? Freaking Mr. Jefferson. Which means that it didn't mean anything that we weren't Victoria. Stay away from Nathan, but she just won the Everyday Heroes photo contest, so she's playing right into Jefferson's hands. She doesn't even know. All right, first things first. We gotta find a way to escape. All right, so they're probably going to pose us and take a bunch of pictures, because that's what they do. We just need a moment of lucidity so we can access our rewind power. So, who's going to be in here with me? I'm assuming Jefferson, but is Nathan going to be here too? They left me alone. Chloe? What? Oh, and they've got Where? Victoria anyhow. 
was in dark room. Okay. Is anybody out there? Please help. See, that wouldn't be my first impulse, because I'd think the only ones likely to hear her are going to be Jefferson or Nathan, and that's just going to bring them right to her. Okay, um, first off, we can rewind. Okay, how far? Not far enough. <laughs> Somebody help me! <clears throat> okay, maybe a foot? These I mean, straps are hurt. Yeah, I've imagined they've got her strapped in fairly securely. <sighs> oh, hey, that's something. Finally, I'm free. Almost. All right, let's try and get that a little closer. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Oh. Okay, so we are going to focus on the photo, but let's look at everything. Gosh, else. I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. And I think it was a silly promise. Because we gotta save Chloe, Max. Okay, that's good on that way. And... Oh, that's great. Here we go. Rose. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Gross. This guy's disturbing. Hold that stare there! Stay still! Okay, crazy. Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! Good. But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now. Till you I decide to kill me? You were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes. I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. Move around. Ruin his shot. Well, spitefully I want to, but then, um, I think there's a good chance he might kill me if I do. Don't move! Plus, I can't control anything at this point, anyhow. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out. Well, you got some kind of master plan? Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text oh. you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed... that Nathan killed her in self-defense. Okay. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. So how much Nobody is Nathan involved? Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. 
I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. What is that Max, darkness back there? please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. Oh, no. crap. Okay, we gotta do something. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? Nope. In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. No. Remember my number one rule. Always oh. take the shot. Okay. So we've learned more about motivations, kind of, but we haven't really gained a whole lot else from delving into this picture. Oh, Jesus. I can't believe that happened. So sick. It really, really is. Okay, what are we gonna do? Oh, Victoria. Okay, we gotta work together here. Oh shit! Jefferson kidnaps Victoria too? This is so bad! Victoria! Hey, Victoria. It's Max. Can you hear me? Max. Oh, God. Where... Where are we? Oh, what's happening? Bad news. You've been drugged like Kate. And me. Do you remember how you got here? No. I don't know. Wait. You warned me. You warned me about Nathan. And I was wrong. And then I went to Jefferson for help, oh. and he was acting so weird. We drove her right to him. That's the last thing I remember. And I can't move my hands. Help me, Max. I'm strapped to a Please. chair, Victoria. I'm sorry for everything. <laughs> Listen carefully. Mark Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson is very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max. I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. Me either. I'm only 18. Okay, well, you gotta you gotta pull it together and we gotta work together. Okay. I would go with nobody is gonna die to reassure her, but it's got the dot 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 after. So does that mean we're gonna say something like, well, nobody's gonna die like we hope so? Or no, we're gonna confidence. Victoria, please listen. I have a plan. Really? How? Max, I'm so scared. We can do this, so Victoria. But we don't have time to be scared. Exactly. We have to fight back. Now. Max, I can't even move my arms. Can you move your legs? How are we supposed to fight? I'm not going to let that asshole get away with this. No, our legs are bound I too. Just, I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear-headed. If he toses us again, we'll forget everything. I'm not strong, Max. You can be, Victoria. Look at me. Look what I did to Kate Marsh. Now she's in the hospital, and I'm here. That's neither here nor there right now. We're both here, okay? I just can't believe this is happening. That Jefferson would do this to me. To us. Victoria, we will find a way to escape. I can't I be frustrated with her. Max, I believe you. Oh, good, good. Okay. 
I really need her to pull it together and help me out here, but it's like I can't hold it against her that she's completely freaked out. I mean, look at the situation. Wait. Anyone would be Jefferson terrified. Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. Okay. Okay. I broke those vials when I kicked the trolley. All right. No. Okay. That picture isn't going to help. And I can't go through all that again. I won't. I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Okay, so... What are we gonna do then? Okay. I broke those vials when I kicked the trolley. Max, you have to help us. I'm, I'm working on it. I've warned you about Nathan. You went to Jefferson for help. It's all my fault. God, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Okay, what else do we... Do we have anything else here on the trolley? Now I know what Kate had to go through. And I helped kill her. You didn't know anything. Kate's not dead. Don't think about that now. <laughs> Please, please get us out of here, Max. Okay, so she's not going to be any help at the moment. I got to figure something out. What am I missing? Whoa. There. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I was so fucking I could stupid. try this one. All right, let's do. This might work. Please work. Okay, let's see. There we go. So innocent. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. You know what would help, Mr. Yes. Jefferson? If you would just shot up. to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you. Your portrait. Fuck you. Yeah. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Is that Replaced why they don't? Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max. I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. Yes. You're a psychopath. Yeah. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, sleeping beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. So, he's been doing this for a while. He killed a bunch of them in Seattle too, huh? You killed Chloe! You murdered my best friend! She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens what? when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Kate did survive, but really, I kind of wish I'm of two minds here. On the one hand, playing the game, obviously I want to know the bad guy's reasoning. But playing as Max, I would, I would think, you know, okay, you got me, Creeper. Let me just find a way out, and I don't really care about anything you have to say. I'd, if I were her, I'd actually rather he do this in silence and just take his stupid pictures so I don't have to listen to his ranting. So, blah, 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 Mr. Blah, Jefferson. Blah, blah, God, I hate your voice now. 
You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Yeah, I did. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. Ooh, now this is a tough call. He did use Nathan. I think I'm going to actually go with you used Nathan. We... Nathan's not a good person. But is he at all aware of this situation? And feels powerless to stop it or do anything about it? Because he is mentally unbalanced. So do I say he's as sick as you? I don't think he's as sick as Mr. Jefferson. Ah, uh, we're going to go with the used option. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. Mm -hmm. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious dark room and equipment? Mm. How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Yeah. Mm. That's the real tragedy. What happened there? Why is she dead Nathan but others aren't? could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Oh, boy. So he did kill Rachel, which does put a lot more culpability on Nathan. It's not, I mean, he was manipulated, but he killed someone. He killed someone. Why Rachel? Yeah. I don't, the Chloe and Rachel option, I don't really want to pick because I feel like she's just going to go along the attack of, you murdered both of them. No, I want to know. Why Rachel? Why Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Well, you killed her. So now you can't... The connection doesn't matter. If she was special, wouldn't you rather a special thing live? Okay, um... No, she didn't let him take pictures. We can't, if, even if he said, Oh yeah, she let me take pictures. Can we trust anything this guy says? No. Um, so we'll ask about Frank. Did you know she also had a connection with Frank? Let's be honest. She was doing the classic bad boy thing. She was over Frank before it began. He just didn't know. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so... Look really? This is a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so... No, we different. are really different, though. Yes, yes, we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with a camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. <gasps> After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Really? Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. But now how are we going to know to what extent? All we, have is, all we have is Jefferson's side of the story. We don't know how much Nathan was really involved in this, what his justifications were. We don't... Oh, man. That's going to drive me nuts. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. Yeah, that's a blow that she You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway. What? I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, 
Let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Okay. I have all those photos in my diary. Oh, no. This could be a way out. This is purity personified. All right. Do, 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 do. Yeah, if I could get to my journal. We got options there. These shots came out. I can see why you... Oh, back a little more. Okay. No. I can't rewind anymore. Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. Let me see it. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Oh, I will look at that shot. My dog's asleep. She's having some kind of dog dreams. Okay. Oh my god. I can go all the way back to the moment this all started. Yeah, let's do it. Max, this could be your chance to fix everything. For good. Okay, so... Come on, come on. Alright, this way's clearer, and then... There we go. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. Okay. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever the again. portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. All right, so we Your can generation save her now. was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, <laughs> since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Hmm. So Kai could answer correctly, but... Let's try. I'm not into capturing your interest. That's kind of sick, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> I guess somebody hasn't had their coffee. Do you want to try again? No. Okay, okay, the Daguerrean process. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, Victoria? Let's, uh, let's move on. Uh, anyway, Good. We got him so off the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. All right, and guys, don't forget I the deadline to, you, to submit creeper. a photo in the Everyday time Heroes. Time to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be fed by the First, art world. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Street Jefferson. Stella. Yeah. Melissa, get it together. Okay, this Taylor, this I'm excited hide. about. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Don't talk to me, bastard. All right, I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. All right, there's some good thinking. Did you know someday your pictures would actually alter time and space? I hope I still love photography when this is done. This diary literally saved my life. 
I do kind of like that. I, I'm quite enjoying the way all of the selfies have become so very all important. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. I've got a ton of Blackwell brochures, so I hope David's number is in there. All right, let's see what we can find. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Blackwell Academy, 1910. For over 100 years, Blackwell Academy has been an academic oasis for art and science with diverse students from around the world seeking to change the world and their communities. Okay, so... It's freaking Mark Jefferson. Found you. Yeah. David Madsen. Let's call him. So, wait. I got a new conversation option, right? That's what... So, uh, what? Oh, I can just... One For one once, one. David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You're after Rachel Amber. Mark Jefferson is guilty. His dark room is under the Prescott's farmhouse. You know the location. He's sick and dangerous. Stop in. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Maybe, but it's got to be done. It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. And get justice for Rachel. All right, comfort Kate. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. All right. I I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. All right, maybe she won't make the Thanks. attempt in the first place now. You always know the right thing to do. Okay. So, what now? Photos are important, so we'd best get that. Now I'm worried about all the photos that I missed in previous chapters. Like, what if one of those could be a moment I could go back to that would be really significant? All right. Victoria, it's nice to know how you really feel. My phone is dead and I'm bored. Time to bust out my... What's that say? Poesy? Why did I give up the word for the image? Because I suck. But Mark Jefferson rules. Everybody in here loves him, but he only seems to care about Max C. I want to hate her, but she wouldn't care. Envy is a sin, Vic. Get over yourself. Oh, Victoria. He is not worth it. I'm happy to ever. fix it, so you'll be here to get your fancy camera, Victoria. Okay. I can't blame the cameras, but... I just think of Jefferson using them. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, even though some of the stuff we saw before, I want to see what Max has to say about it now. Yeah, I wonder how many victims Jefferson has left behind in his career. Yeah, that's a really good question. Not impressed anymore. <sighs> if only I could tell the whole class about Jefferson and watch him squirm. But I better let David take care of everything. So, yeah, we're going to be limited in how far we can go. We're going to have to just wait and hope the things The 90s are over for you, asshole. At least Kate knows people have her back. This is the last time somebody bullies you, Kate. Okay. Oh, 
Rachel. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're still not far enough back to try to save her. And I'm wondering, I don't know, maybe... I'm afraid that maybe we won't be able to. Just a to. week ago, I, really I want was so to, but... naive about art, life, the world. Okay, yeah, we can't get through that door. I can't go past these photo boundaries, so... An everyday hero is going to bust your ass, Jefferson. There's still some beauty left in Arcadia Bay. I still feel like the lighthouse is calling out to me. It all started there, so there's got to be something significant there. But I don't really have guesses about the lighthouse at this point. I'd like point. to bust this up right now. All right. Victoria, I'm sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. Can we talk to her? No. I see right through your bullshit, Jefferson. Everybody else will too. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? No, not really. I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody, to destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Way to go, Max. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. I wonder what impact that's gonna have on her when we get back to that the present. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh... That was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, Rose, the, the Rose. first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be... innocent. Or guilty. Ugh. Uh, well... And thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. Yeah, you just wait You're going see. to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Oh, I really want to know what impact that had. Okay, so that doesn't have yes. And so she doesn't try to kill herself. Great. But Rachel's still dead. But Chloe's alive. That's really important. Whew. This sickness didn't happen. That's good. Where are we going? What, San Francisco? Whoa! Okay, I really, really want to keep going, but this is already a longer episode, so I'm going to go ahead and wind it down here. 
please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time. We've got I've I'm feeling really hopeful. She said a lot of really awesome things. So we had to have made some kind of I mean obviously we've made some kind of impact on the present. How much did we resolve? Oh, I can't I can't wait to learn what we're dealing with now.